Welcome back to your physics teacher with me, Mr. Fernando. Uh, today we're going to be looking at analyzing velocity versus time graph, and we're going to be showing you for a more complex motion, and I'm going to show you why it's complex. So to begin with, we're going to use back our analogy of Sonic the Hedgehog, and we're going to use the zero velocity point to imagine it being the hoop that we have, which is the golden hoop that Sonic always runs after. So when Sonic runs towards the hoop, he's getting tired and tired and tired, so we can say he slows down. And as soon as he gets it, he feels good about his life, and then he's able to speed up. So that's going to help you to determine this. So in this case, whenever you're moving away from the hoop, whether that's in the positive direction or negative direction, Sonic is speeding up. But notice that in the green section of this graph, Sonic is still moving away from the hoop. So in these two graphs, Sonic is speeding up. But the steepness is different. So the steepness tells you how quickly is he speeding up. So we have to get better at analyzing graphs by describing it further based on how quickly he can speed up. So let's sort of look at this first. Hmm. Let's say we calculate the slope, because that's how we can describe graphs by calculating the slopes. In one second of time, Sonic was able to get a 3 meters per second difference. So if we were to calculate the slope, which is the rise over the run, the rise is 3 meters, and what are the units of the axis? Meters per second. And our time axis is going to be 1 second. So this is a very easy calculation, that's why I chose it, right? So it's going to be 3 meters per second, per second. So the slope tells us Sonic is able to cover 3 meters per second in each second that goes by. So that's how quickly he is speeding up in the purple side of the graph. But let's see for the green graph. So we're going to consider a time interval of 1 second. So once again, to calculate the slope, we use the rise over the run. So the rise is going to be 2 seconds. No, no, the rise, the rise is going to be 2 meters per second because we're describing velocity. And the time interval I cheated, so I made it really easy for myself, it's going to be 1 second. So the slope will be 2 meters per second per second. So, although we know the Sonic is still speeding up, the rate at which he speeds up is different. So, at the beginning, purple graph speeding up at 3 meters per second, each second that goes by. The second part, speeding up 2 meters per second, each second that goes by. So, how quickly velocity changes with time, that's going to be called acceleration from now on. And we're going to use the letter A to describe it. So here we have the acceleration. So the acceleration is going to be the slope of the velocity versus time graph, which just tells us how quickly velocity is changing with time. So now we can have a better story. How? Sonic is speeding up 3 meters per second each second that goes by in the first part, and then 2 meters per second per second in the second part. And in which direction the motion is moving? Well, what did we say before? Whenever you have velocity being positive, that also indicates the direction of motion. So whenever velocity is positive, you're moving in the positive direction as well. So now we can do even better than before. We can tell the type of motion, speeding up, speeding up. We can tell the direction of motion, positive direction, positive direction. But we can even tell how quickly that speeding up occurs by describing acceleration. And if we want to find a final general formula, acceleration is going to be the slope of dt, which tells us it's going to be the change in the object's velocity over the change in time.
and we're going to be looking at more in the next lesson about acceleration itself. So stay tuned.